what is up youtube you're back with another youtube video and today we're here with the mw2 season 5 faction event and you can see it's task force 141 versus shadow company and the description says faction victory rewards the faction with the most operator kills at the end of the event wins players who have completed all challenges for the winning faction receive additional victory rewards now you can see currently as of saturday morning shadow company has 222 million kills and task force 141 has 196 million kills now when it comes to the rewards for this depending on which faction wins if task force 141 wins we will get an operator skin a weapon camo and a double battle pass xp token now for task force 141 i really like that soap skin but i don't like the camo and then for shadow company i really like the camo but i don't like that operator skin so I'm kind of torn on this. I picked Shadow Company as of right now just because of the camo. But we'll see how things play out. But there's also a set of challenges that you can complete in terms of gaining additional rewards. So we're going to scroll down real quick. And you can see the list of rewards for Shadow Company and Task Force 141 for these challenges. Now as I talk about these challenges, I will show what the reward looks like on screen. Just in case if you don't really care for the mastery thing for getting these blueprints at the bottom. Then all you have to do is get you know whatever challenge you want done and you will get whatever you want here but you can see for the loading screen you have to get 50 operator kills and this is fairly easy you just gotta play like one shipment match or like you know two multiplayer matches if you want it's that's not anything too crazy to do get 15 operator kills while focused with snipers that you can get done pretty easily as well and that will give you a large decal and this is something where to focus on with snipers all you have to do is press your left stick down if you're playing on a controller i don't know what it is on pc on mouse and keyboard but you just pretty much gotta hold your breath when using a sniper and get 15 operator kills that's pretty easy for the vehicle skin for the m wrap you need to get 15 operator kills from behind with smgs again a map like shipment which is currently in the rotation shipment 24 7 you can get this done very easily that's where i got most of my challenges done for the charm, for the Shadow Company charm, you get 10 operator kills with launchers. Pretty easy on shipment, but just know other people will be using rocket launchers to do the same thing. I just went in with the RPG and just started spamming it. And then for a tier skip token, you just gotta get 5 operator kills with lethal equipment. So that's either proximity mines, frag grenades, semtex, thermite, molotov, whatever you gotta get a kill with. Just, you know, get 5 of those. And again, in shipment, pretty easy. And if you complete all of these, you will get the Mastery uh, Blueprint for Shadow Company. And this is what it looks like. Again, it's not jumping off the wall. It's not really anything that's going to stand out, which is kind of disappointing. Like, my, expect my expectations were really, really low. And I can't tell you. It's just every time I, I hear that there's an event and I see the word Mastery, I just know not to get excited because these blueprints really aren't that special. You know what's stopping somebody from just you know not caring about it you know in reality this took me less than 30 minutes and i guess you can say that oh that's the point is like these are easy things to get done but you should still reward your players for doing this and in reality these blueprints i'm not a big fan of them i'll probably never use them but i will say the shadow company one is better than the smg if you ask me for task force 141 but now that we went over shadow company let's look at task force 141 and for the emblem here all you gotta do is get 50 operator kills so you can see that challenge is the same as shadow company you do have to switch teams so you can see on screen let's say you start with shadow company after you do all those challenges you do have to press y or whatever it is on pc for you to switch sides that way you can start doing another set of challenges and you can see your emblem is the soap emblem so if you like that just gotta get 50 operator kills pretty easy loading screen get 10 long shot operator kills with battle rifles this one took me a while, I'm not going to lie, just because I don't like that play style of sitting in a spot and trying to get long shots and everything like that. So I just figured I'll just, you know, play regular multiplayer matches and just see if they happen. So that one is a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. When it came to the vehicle skin, get 40 ADS operator kills with assault rifles. ADS means aim down sight, if you don't know. So pretty much just make sure instead of hip firing, you're actually aiming your gun. That way you can get this done. And again, pretty easy to do. The skin does look really nice. So I'll give them a plus on that. Both vehicle skins are pretty nice. I do like the Task Force 141 charm over the Shadow Company one. 
And for the charm, it's pretty easy. Just get three operator kills with melee weapons. If you want, spawn into shipment, pull your knife out, and just get three, you know, melee kills. And if you're doing this in Warzone, I'd say your best chances are just land a hot drop if you can. If you're playing like a Sheikah Island, probably go castle or something like that, or the farms area, and just like land on somebody and just melee them and try to get a kill at the start of the game. And you only have to do three of these, which I'm very, very thankful for at least. It's not like get 50 of them. And then a tier skip for executing a finishing move. Now this one, I feel like you can get it done in Warzone pretty easily. It's because you can play like trios or something and be like, hey, down that guy, but let me get the finisher. That way I can, you know, do a finishing move and then you get progress for it. I did it in multiplayer. I just had to sit in a corner and wait for somebody to walk in front of me. And then I did it. So again, not the hardest challenges in the world, but here you're going to see the mastery blueprint for the task force 141 challenges. And again, this just is really bad in my opinion. Like I get that these blueprints aren't, you know, eye catching, but at least Shadow Company, they had some design on the, the sniper rifle. On the SMG, it just looks like it got dropped or it's had dust sitting on it or something, you know? Like, I, I don't know what's the point of calling these mastery rewards, when in reality, they're not anything, you know, that looks nice, you know? If I use this blueprint, nobody's going to know that this is a blueprint you got for being... You know it's the person that completed five challenges in the faction event nobody's gonna care you know because it's not that good looking so that is an issue that i've taken over several events with this game and to be honest it really just seems like they don't care which is whatever i mean these are pretty easy for me to do i'm not gonna lose sleep over it but at the end of the day imagine if you would have gotten a gun with a big task force one for one symbol on it or you know something that was actually eye-catching then people would actually care more about it but in terms of the ugliest smg i've ever seen i think this blueprint probably takes it so with all of that being said that's probably going to round it out for this video if you have any questions or anything leave them down below and i'll try to answer them hopefully you can pick which rewards you want based off this video and then just uh if you really want to do the mastery stuff and if not then you can just get whatever you want so like i said if you found this useful make sure to like comment subscribe Drop a follow on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash monkeysjam0. Ring the bell so you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.